So my name is Jessica Doman Ferrison and I work for Plant and Food Research in Lincoln in New Zealand. The project I was working on over the last three years is CRC 2079 and it's about tomato potato salad and Candidatus Liberibacter solana cerum ecology in relation to their host plants, whether they're crops or whether they're weeds. And the bacterium is the putative agent for zebra chip disease in potatoes and what it does is like when you fry the potato slices they actually darken and make them unrenderable for processing so for creating crisps and potato chips. What we discovered about the host plants in this project is that they host the psyllid throughout the year so even in winter when it's frosty or when it's snowed um, there are still all the life stages on the psyllid on those uh, weedy host plants. Um, we also discovered with the host plants that some of them actually can be naturally infected with the with C. LSO, so that makes those host plants a source for inoculum you know in spring when the crops are going to emerge for both the psyllid and the, and the bacterium. So for Australia the knowledge that we generated in this project can be used for the preparedness plans, the biosecurity plans for the different sectors um, it can also be used to uh, inform the surveillance and the monitoring for the psyllid, like the different technologies that you can use for it, but also the location. So if you have locations with high densities of solanaceae weeds, or especially the perennial weeds, you might actually focus on those areas. Um, and I hope it will never happen, but for pest and disease management, you know, this will just in inform, you know, the IPM uh, strategies that you can yeah, put in.